Get Pivot Data is a formula that uses the pivot table to create customized reports that give the user more flexibility. It uses the pivot table as its engine to spit out numbers based on the user's needs. There are certain advantages of using a Get Pivot Data formula. You can produce a report to your liking so you're not limited to the pivot table formats. When the pivot data source changes, then all you gotta do is refresh the pivot table and your report will update as well. You can also format your report and upon refreshing your pivot table, it will never lose its formatting. And finally, you can add extra columns for business metrics that are unable within a pivot table. There are lots of people that don't use the Get Pivot Data formula. It's because they don't know the power that it can have. The reason is that most people will actually go outside the pivot table and try to do a quick sum formula. For example, 2013 plus 2014, like this. And when they try to scroll down, then they get the same number. And then they look at this formula and they're saying, well, it's a get pivot data, I don't like it, I don't understand it, so I'm not gonna use it, which is fair enough. But I'll show you ways where you can use the get pivot data to enhance your reports. Let's press Control Z to get out of there. Now, to activate the get pivot data, you gotta click in your pivot table, go to options, and under options, from the drop down arrow, choose generate get pivot data. That's ticked, it means it's on. If you uncheck and you click anywhere inside your pivot data, then you get a cell reference. If you want to use get pivot data, make sure that it's selected. So let's get a number from within our pivot table and press enter. Now let's go to our function in here. Just click anywhere in there and we can move this around here. Move it up here, okay. Now, if you want to get the explanation of get pivot data, just click on there and you get the Excel help and you get the details about the function and what it does. Now, the data field, these are the values that you want to return. For example, sum of sales, count or average. Now in here, it gets the sales, which is the sum of sales here. So it's the sum of sales that we are showing. And the second argument is the actual pivot table. So in here, you can click anywhere in the pivot table, but we usually click on the top left-hand corner. Now, the third argument, this is the field name. So we're looking at salesperson. We have here salesperson, and we also have the quarters. So the field name is, first of all, the salesperson, and then within salesperson, we have the item, which is in, right? So we've selected cell D12, so it's in right as a salesperson. And we'll go to the second field, which is the financial year, which is up here. And the item within the financial year is 2014 because we've checked in there. Finally, the third field is the sales quarters. So we have the sales quarters in the row labels. And then item three, we have the actual cell that we've chosen relates to Q4. So it puts it in that order and you can put up to 126 different combinations there. Now let's press enter and we'll get our value out there. Now the power that comes with a get pivot data formula is with the item numbers, we can actually reference them to a cell. So instead of saying 2014, we can change it to 2013 and see what happens. The value changes to 670. Let's change Q4 to Q3. It changes to 624. And finally, instead of Ian Wright, let's put in John Michaludis. So he gets John Michaludis's 2013 sales. So based on this, you can see how you can create a report in here where you can reference your items with your own custom format, your own metrics, and every time the pivot table gets updated, all you gotta do is refresh, and then your data gets updated here. And I'll show you how to do this in the next chapters.